What's up, guys? Here at Rap Sesh in Mesa, Arizona. Um, this week we are showcasing a custom project. You can see the happenings behind us. The um, green machine. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Um, so this is a hilarious. This is a Can Am. It's a Can Am. <laughs> Four door Can Am. This is a Can Am. Four door Can. Is it a Polaris? No. Oh, no, it's <laughs> just a Can Am. <laughs> it's a Can Am. Why do I sound so Asian right now? <laughs> okay. So, so this sorry. is a fully custom built Can Am. So yeah. like, there's nothing the same inside, interior, outside it's body. Incredible. The interior. Complete fiberglass. A bunch of carbon fiber stuff. The whole body is like custom. Like we yeah. didn't even find a template that was close it's to. It's one this. of them things you see at Glamis. Yeah. Yeah. And SEMA. And or yeah. Don't say it unless you mean it. Don't. So really cool project for a local business owner. Um, he wanted to match. He has this really nice, like, green on his. Um, He's got the A arm shocks, trailing yeah. arms. All nice, those are all painted like, green. Metallic -y green. Yeah. And we really wanted to try to match that as close as we can. So what we actually did is we printed this entire project on 3M 2080 matte metallic silver. Oh, I love printing so, on metallics. Yeah. Anytime we do custom prints for like personal vehicles and stuff and it's not like a business wrap, I try to push metallic because it just adds so much like depth and saturation to the print. It just looks better. It just Every looks time. way I don't better. I don't know one time we haven't printed on metallic that it that didn't look awesome. It. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm always trying to upsell prints onto metallic because instead of this being a flat green, it really is like an iridescent it, metallic. It green. actually matches the powder coating perfectly. It's a really nice color yeah. match that we did, yeah. So um, we printed it on the 3M 2080 color change film. Um, we were using our MUTO 1624X Eco Solvent. Whenever I print on color change, I usually like to print on a mat. It tends to lay down better. Yeah, and it's saturated. Down. It's uh, porous. It bites down better yeah. on the mat surface rather than a gloss metallic. So I, I feel like, especially if it's like a, if you're printing with latex, you really want a matte surface oh, yeah, because I, don't I, even I mess with that. We, yeah, yeah. We don't even mess with that. We don't do that. Eco solvent all but, the way. Yeah, ours is eco solvent, so it actually eats into the film a little bit and kind of etches into it, holds yeah. a little better. Yeah. So we really like to print on that. Um, we let everything gas out for 24 to 48 hours, and then we actually um, laminated it with a 3M non PVC film. Mm. I think it was 8048G. Don't quote me on that. G. But it's a non-PVC laminate, so it's meant to be a little more durable and help with UV protection. A little bit longer life. Yeah, a little bit longer lifespan on it. It's not gonna like yellow out. It's supposed to be somewhat self-healing, right? It's made out of similar components as clear bra, yeah. so it kind of has that effect. Um, this is the thinner version, so it's not like totally durable, but it is gonna be more durable than a standard car laminate. But though. we are clear bra this. We're clear browing sections yeah. of this. All the sections that are going to be beat with sand, we are clear browing. Pretty much like the rockers and like half fenders. of the fenders yep. is going to be done. Like what he, he had. Yeah, he had a bunch of like rhino line on all of his fenders just to, for durability. Mm -hmm. And we sand, well, he sanded all of that down before he brought it here. So now in those sections, we're just going to clear brow over the graphics. Yeah, yeah. So once we got the print all set up, Installing this honestly was really hard. This was the first side I worked on today. It has a really deep recess in it's the middle. It's got crazy angles everywhere. Yeah. And like I said, we don't have a template for this, so it's all by measurements. And we pretty much did this entire side in one piece. Um, but we had to move it around and like pick it up and move it around as we were laying it. It was really interesting, not how I normally would do these, and definitely more on the difficult side as far as off-road vehicles go. It's a it's an intense body, yeah. The, yeah. the body is just kind of crazy. Yeah, like it, even if you did this in one piece or if you did it and in individual panels, it would still be hard to do because of how many crazy The really are. hard thing is going to be the back because there's actually no few, there's no breakups. There's no it's all fused perfect. Like it's all fiberglass to where it's all one piece. 
Yeah. So you can't, you have to pretty much find a place to seam it and make, you know, hide it. So like with this vehicle, you know, we may have had an original game plan and it's probably changed three or four times on that how happens. we're doing it and how we go about doing it. And that's like part of being a good installer is being able Making to- things work. Make work. <laughs> you make things work. That's you like, have to adapt. Put whatever. that on a t-shirt. Yeah, for real. <laughs> You have to be able to adapt, bottom line. You know, measurements may be off, designs may be off. There may be things off before you even start wrapping and you have to be able to make it work. So, um, make it one work. thing in particular that we use with this vehicle because you will see in the pre-videos um, that there is a lot of sanding and there's some matte plastics and things like that. That is where this comes in. I tell you guys about this all the time. We tell you I things. Still have people ask me all the time. We tell you things. Like, what's that thing in that one video that one time? It's this. That. <laughs> that. That's what that is. <laughs> this is Pledge Gloss Revive It Floor Shine. Um, it's basically a floor sealant. We use this on like matte plastics and textured plastics if we want to make it just a little bit glossier. It's really good for oxidized box trucks. Yeah. Work vehicles. Really good for powdery paint. Um, so everywhere that was sanded and that's pretty matte and porous, like right here, it actually, I coated it like twice. And I think I hit a lot of my edges with um, primer just because it's not an ideal surface. No, and it's got a lot of sharp angles. Yeah, it's got some rough paint in, in spots that had to have been sanded down and stuff, right. so. And before I actually laid this entire panel, I went here and opened all the doors up and I laid gloss black. In all, in all of here as inlays because he had sanded and everything. And then so what'd you do? So it looks clean. Oh, and then I laid my orange tape. This tape, lifesaver for this install. Uh, this is a pinstripe painter's tape. We get it at Space Age here in Arizona. That's for when you don't want to use knifeless tape. Yeah, when knifeless tape doesn't stick to something or you need to make a hand cut over vinyl or something like that, you can lay this down instead of knifeless tape and it's kind of just a buffer for you to cut on so you're not cutting the paint or you're not cutting the vinyl underneath. And then what did you finish it with? Once you get past the insulation part, anything that's stressed or you need to seal, like the lower rocker down here, I'm gonna use some clear edge seal laminate tape uh, just to finish everything off and then a really solid post heat. So yeah, uh, yeah let's dive in. Dive, swim, Ooh. swim. If you love me, let me hear you say my name, my name. If you love me, let me hear you, babe. Cause I wonder if you feel the same, same. Or just tell me if you feel the same.
thank you guys so much for watching this week. We hope you enjoyed our super awesome Can-Am. I don't even know if you could call it a Can-Am. Not anymore. It's like basically a car. Yeah. Like a whole like sand rail. Sand really, car. really cool. I think he's even taking it out like to Mexico for his first weekend with it. Now you go drive around on the beach. <sighs> so cool. Um, if you guys want to get your ATVs or off-road things wrapped, uh, you can hit us up at rapseshaz at gmail.com. Um, and then, and then keep up with our daily fun on Facebook and Instagram at rapseshaz and Vinyl Vixen Raps. And please, please, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you dig the rap sesh vibe. And we'll see you next week. Woohoo! You didn't make a noise! Uh, you didn't. I, I just you... did it! What do you mean? You left me hanging. I didn't know that you were doing it at the end. I thought well, you weren't doing it because we didn't decide on anything. You didn't decide. <laughs>